I've got some great news, which is that I was completely wrong when I said in a previous video that I uh, suspected that the Streamer X may not have full functionality on the Mac. And uh, if you uh, watch no more of this video, just know that it will be fully compatible with the Mac and uh, all will be revealed in due course as it is released. Uh, but what on earth am I talking about? And why did I even think this? Well, first of all, let's talk about the device itself. This is their new Streamer X, which was announced at NAB along with a slew of other new products as well. Uh, and this is essentially combining some of the functions of the Rodecaster with a mic input. Uh, you can connect wirelessly to one of the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2s or the uh, new Rode Wireless Me's, which were also announced. Um, it's also got obviously the smart pads as well. Uh, and then the thing that sets this apart is that it now also has HDMI in on it, uh, which is an indication that there is an onboard capture card as well. So you can actually use it uh, as a capture card either for your camera, uh, but if we just have a look at that again, there's actually an in and a through as well. So that means that you can use it to uh, capture maybe gameplay or something from a second computer uh, where you want to pass through a, uh, a screen, for example. Uh, so it's a great little device, but I was a bit disappointed and I expressed this in the uh, previous video. And it was because of something that uh, Ryan from uh, Rode said uh, during his announcement video, which was... And you can add studio quality Apex processing to your inputs and route your audio any way that you like using Unify. And the problem I had with that was that Unify is part of the uh, the Rode X suite. And in fact, if you look at the device itself, um, it even says Rode X right there up at the top of it. And it's Stream X. So it is part of their X branding. Uh, so this to me seemed more in line with uh, their Rode X <laughs> line of products, which includes microphones and so on. Uh, and this all uses uh, Unify, their software. And this is the software that Ryan mentioned. Uh, and this is it. It is basically a, uh, a software mixer that you can have on your computer to do all sorts of routing, apply effects and all of that kind of thing. Uh, but the problem, it is PC only. So uh, given that it was a sort of Rode X device, branded device, and given the fact that Ryan said specifically that um, yeah, you need Unify to do it, um, then I was quite disappointed and I thought, oh, surely this means then that it is PC only. Um, so I have been through for the past couple of days since I made that video, uh, frantically trying to actually find out the uh, real facts about this. Um, so I've asked some people to uh, to find out, you know, if they have heard anything different from Rode. Uh, uh, .rock was at any B as well and he did a demonstration where he showed the capture card working with the PC and a mic going into Ecamm so we could see the levels going and I th was thinking well that's great but that only proves that the capture card works and the mic works uh, it doesn't show the processing going on on board uh, the actual device itself. So I called Rode directly in Australia and I got through to uh, their support and they put me through to a technician uh, and I asked them and they uh, they said we can't tell you anything more other than the fact that uh, what was said in their launch video would have been uh, accurate and we can't say any more than that we don't have any sort of official line on this uh, it was a new device to them apparently the people that I spoke to obviously I'm not as well connected as some people uh, so anyway there we go there was me thinking that uh, well perhaps this is it perhaps it is really a road device uh, that is only going to work on PC for that advanced functionality um, I followed up with Doc and Doc said he believes it will work with the um, Road Connect software so uh, that gave me some hope as well but again I wasn't sure if that had actually been uh, said explicitly or demonstrated uh, and then just today I saw a wonderful video <laughs> which included you this. You have full Apex processing ability on all of the channels so um, when you run Road Connect, um, uh, sorry Road Central um, on your Mac um, you can basically set up a custom profile just like you would with a Rodecaster Pro so you can set um, you know Apex, Oral Exciter, Big Bottom, Compression, um, Gating, all that kind of stuff. So essentially, that is confirmation <laughs> from Ryan himself um, that the uh, all of the effects, the processing and things like that uh, that was mentioned in the first video that you would need Unify for, in actual fact, you can also do with Road Connect on the Mac. And we've already seen the demo of the actual capture card and everything working on the Mac. So at this point, I am really quite a happy bunny because <laughs> I was really excited about this device when I saw it. And so, yeah, I, I shared my frustration in the previous uh, video, but uh, thankfully it, it was all... Uh, or all for nothing. And I'm sorry if I have inadvertently uh, passed that disappointment and frustration on for you with my uh, somewhat incorrect information. And when I say somewhat, I mean completely <laughs> incorrect information on that respect.
The price of the Streamer X is going to be $399. And uh, incidentally, the uh, Rocaster Duo, which was uh, also announced, is going to be $499. And I should say also, uh, whilst we are here, that I am running a giveaway for the Rocaster Duo. You can find a link for that down in the description. And the draw will be at the end of May. And uh, one lucky winner will be winning indeed a Rocaster Duo. Uh, I'll be certainly trying them all out. I can't tell you how happy I am actually that I was wrong about this whole thing with the Streamer X because uh, it's certainly something that I will be trying out. Uh, and adding into my setup. Uh, once again, sorry for any disappointment caused. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll leave a link to some of my other Roadcaster comments uh, with slightly more accurate information over there on the right-hand side.